Uh, Talbot. Oh, a nice kick. Oh, return. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. One for one. You give, I give. There he backed up instead of hanging on and trying to, you know, keep going for something and wearing himself out. But dang, Ooh, he's taking a beating yeah. right now. Tables have turned all of a sudden. Talbot keeping him up against the cage, landing some nice kicks. Ladies and nice. gentlemen from Reno, Nevada, presenting Peyton Talbot. From Houston, California, presenting Ernesto Villegas. Ready to bang. Let's kick off round number one between Peyton Talbot and Ernesto Villegas. We're getting a little bit of a height advantage for uh, Talbot. Oh, a nice kick. Oh, return. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. One for one. You give, I give. Nice to see a little bit of change up in style here. The last couple fights have been majoritarily uh, ground game. Now, nice to see a little bit of stand up, some nice kicks, some nice jabs. Yeah, good movement on both these guys right here. Both these guys look very speedy, very agile. Uh, that's what you can expect at 135ers. You know, they got a lot more energy. Nice body mass to move around. Both fighters computing to close this distance for middle ca center cage here. Yeah, both guys really relaxed too, but you know they're they're throwing, but not you know committing a whole bunch. But I mean they're they're just putting it out there, getting their range, everything, everything they do to you know execute the fight the way they need. Ernesto goes in for a shoot, but doesn't quite get it. Oh, no, he, he, I mean, that was actually a, yeah, he a was, good was shot. You know? yeah. It was clean. He got it there. He realized it wasn't there. He backed up instead of hanging on and trying to, you know, keep going for something and wearing himself out. But, dang, Ooh, he's taking takes a beating a, yeah. right now. Tables have turned all of a sudden. Talbot keeping him up against the cage, landing some nice kicks, some nice strikes. Yeah, I think I think it's a surprise deal right there when he, he started getting caught, one right after the other. See right there, uh, Talbot did a rookie mistake. Pressed him up against the cage, let him recover. Look at that, now he's he's eating some. And, and you know you don't think about it, but one one fight in the ring makes a big difference in your you know experience wise it does definitely it gets some some jitters out lets you know hey what to expect how to move what to do you know when you get hit makes you plan for your next fight right definitely isn't just your typical training or sparring with someone at the gym you know it's a completely different experience you're surrounded by a crowd of thousands of people you know anything can go on there's so many different factors Talbot doing a great job here in position, maintaining position. Some nice knees to the stomach. You can see the redness there starting to rack up. All those body shots Talbot's landing you know, is, is adding up, and uh, Villegas is, is feeling him. You can see the way he moves. You know, he's a lot more fatigued just because of that. Nothing else. You probably came in shape, but I mean, when you get hit in the body like that, it wears your energy out and it, it takes your condition away. There ain't no recovery from that. And that will conclude round number one. Very explosive uh, start to that round as we've seen here tonight. Some nice stand-up. Talbot showing off his skills with the jabs and the kicks and the takedowns. Oh, yeah. I mean, he was doing a good job here. I mean, when he connected, it totally, you know, dazed, dazed uh, via, via, I guess, and, uh, you know, confused him. So, I mean, a great, good, good, good round for Talbot for it being his first fight. Did everything good you know execute a few you know he got caught here and there but overall i mean he came out on top on that round i believe yeah definitely i mean for an amateur looked like a seasoned fighter knew what he wanted to do executed it pretty perfectly uh but now, i mean not to discredit viegas he did a great job of defending was in there and landed his own you know a few of his own great strikes and kicks we'll see if he could pick up the pace though a little bit coming up in the next round welcome back to king of the cage future legends 40 here at silver legacy resort and casino we're kicking off round number two between Peyton Talbot and Ernesto Villegas. Talbot in the blue gloves and Villegas in the red. 
We had a nice, fast-paced, uh, explosive first round here. Both fighters still look very fresh and ready to go. I'm excited to oh, see where it good. goes. They're going good, and uh, you know, Talbot, he, uh, I think he got a lot more confidence after that first round. Landing those shots he did and seeing what he, what he did to his opponent right there. I mean, he's coming in, attacking the body, you know, getting those straight jabs right on his, on his on the chin of uh, Diego's. And just like that, Talbot starting to lay down some heat. Not quite putting too, you know, not, not too much damage from those hits, but uh, definitely showing a little more control, working the body. Yeah, that takedown wasn't much of a struggle. So, I mean, I, I, think, I think the fatigue factor for Villegas is, is, is going to play a factor right here. He's not doing much to defend himself too well. Good job on turning around. I'll just pop out of there. He's going to get your back. Just like that, Talbot trying to sink in that rear naked choke. Can he get it? He's it's stretching possible. It there There's it the tap. And that's it. Talbot successfully taps out Villegas with the rear naked choke. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time, one minute and 12 seconds of round number two. Your winner by tap out via rear naked choke, Peyton Talbot.